I know you wrote an article about this. Uh, how much input, input do you think um, Deshaun Watson had as, as Kevin Stefanski and Andrew Berry built out the quarterback room? Yeah, I mean, I just don't think it's a, a coincidence that he's got two really good friends and two people for his support system in the quarterback room in really longtime good friend Joshua Dobbs, who he's trained with since high school, and then another really good friend in Dorian Thompson Robinson, uh, who he's trained with a lot over the last four or five years out at um, out in L.A. when they're out there together. Uh, so, I, you know, I really do think that Deshaun – had an, a major influence in how this quarterback room is shaped. And basically my theme there in the column that I wrote on it on Saturday was, you know, Deshaun needs that kind of a sanctuary. He needs that room to be his refuge. He still has a lot of off the field things that he's dealing with. He still has two civil suits pending against him. He still is going to have to deal with some backlash out in, uh, you know, when he goes to, opposing stadiums i'm sure there will still be you know per you know possibly some protests out there there will still be perhaps signs and uh things said to him from the stands and so i do think that you know they want that room to be really a place of of calm and of friendship and you know good healthy competition uh, and a lot of crossover in terms of skill set but also guys that are going to 100 percent support him yeah, uh, and, and it makes sense because if the Browns are going to get where they want to go, Deshaun Watson has to be uh, the best version of himself. Absolutely. And, you know, there is a whole psychological aspect to this game of football, and I think the Browns are playing it. I think that they are, uh, you know, really taking a lot of those things into account. And, um, and again, if, if Deshaun Watson – did not want a quarterback in the quarterback room with him, a particular guy. I don't think that guy would be in there. I think I remember last year talking to Jacoby Brissett, and I think he actually even said, you know, Deshaun kind of signed off on me. Deshaun was all on board with me being in this room with him. And, um, you know, and I think that's important. And, I, you know, it, it may be something that flies under the radar a little bit, but I think it's really something that that they are are doing and they are, are being very intentional about it. 